No guarantee of this video, brother. Because uh, I don't have resources uh, to have uh, proper things. Shafaqat, okay, he, re he remembers me of what we have been trying to do 12 years ago in Islamic League, which to, to create future leaders from the young graduates, from the young Islamic reporters, from the school leavers. At that time, 20, uh, 20, 24. 2004, and I'm very happy that it's happening now. It doesn't matter when it happens, but it does matter that it's happening, which is very good. One thing which we need to understand is the best information to design our project is the information comes from the needy, not only from our office workers. That's why we have to find a way of involving the orphans, the widows, displaced, and refugees. Because they are the people who reflect their needs to us. The most successful project is based on their input, not on our input, not on the HQ input, not on the desk officer input, not on the director's input. And this is something which you need to learn at this time. Because in the good old days, we were just doing everything. Fundraising, street work, cleaning up. And you were jack of all trades. You know what jack of all trades? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Master of none. Okay? <laughs> but now, you have to have a speciality, and super speciality, and sub-speciality, and sub-speciality, and super speciality, which have to be specializing. And the success story of Islamic Leaf was in the quick response to any disaster. Globally, the quick response. No Saturday, no Sunday, no evening, off time, nothing. I remember Pakistan earthquake, when was that? 2005? Yeah. 2004. 2004 and end of 2004. Mm -hmm. October 2004. Thank you, sir. I'm Pakistani. <laughs> 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 He doesn't know where I come from. <laughs> we decide when the British government made a pledge of 100,000 pounds, the American government made a pledge of 100,000 dollars, Islamic Cliff on Saturday pledged 2 million pounds. All the media thought that we are mad, that we do not know what we are talking about. That were a bunch of amateurs. Okay? And when they interviewed us from BBC, we told them, Have you visited Kashmir? No. So, how can you pledge $100,000 or £100,000 or $500,000? And they told us, Why you pledge too many pounds? We told them, Because we knew, we know Kashmir, we know the mountains of Kashmir. But at the peak or the top of each mountain, there's many, many villages. Once you shave the mountain, people will be dead on the top of this mountain and these villages. Within a week, we discovered that 90,000 people, that's right, were killed in the earthquake. So we're ahead of the British government, we're ahead of the American government, and we are ahead of the international humanitarian community because we know the place. We went to the place where nobody else was there since the late 90s because Kashmir was a no-go area. A no-go area. With NOC, you can't go there unless you have an NOC which is security clearance. This is the message for you. You learn here a lot. Maybe Brother uh, Majid? <laughs> Oh, where, where did Majid come from? <laughs> comes from me. I keep calling people names. Huh? I was there Majid and the Jalil are names of Allah. Mm -hmm. as well, so you're still inside. <laughs> uh, brother uh, Abdul Jalil. Abdul Jalil, he can give you a good policy papers to follow. But we want <clears throat> you also to bend your back. 
to have backache, to have headache, to have sweating arms and ears and eyes. You know when your eyes sweat? It shed tears when you are with those people. So when you come back to Brother Majid, you'll be, sorry, <laughs> Brother Abdul Jalil, you'll be like the hoopoe bird. You know hoopoe bird? No. The bird. The Lord Hudrud. Hoopoe? Hoopoe. Came back to King Solomon. And King Solomon, he was telling him, where is this bird? I'm going to chop his neck or torture him because he's not in the meeting. You are led to the high level meeting. So this King Solomon, <laughs> and you are the hoopoe bird, okay? But you came very, very proud of what knowledge you have from the field. And you stood in front of King Solomon. <laughs> How confident this little miserable bird standing in front of the king of the kings. So I came to you from Sheba, where I found great news that you do not know it, King Solomon. What did you tell me at that time? <laughs> you took him in seven and never in Yaqeen. So he came with the good news because he was a field worker. The bird wants to look for, uh, for water, but he found the greater news that those people do not worship God, they worship the moon or the sun or whatever you call it. So this is your role. The right facts is from the field and from the people who are suffering. And what we say in Arabic? Al-Haga Umm al Needs is the mother of innovation. <coughs> That's right. Needs or need is the mother of innovation. So you go where the people are, so be the great of the greatest. With Brother Majid. Huh? Abdul Majid Masih. Abdul Majid. Abdul Ali, you are getting Abdul. older. <laughs> <laughs> so we congratulate you for having three months with us. And Brother Abdul Jalil now. Now we're going to have, we'll come and stand up and uh, greet you. We won't really greet you. No, no, in public, because uh, the <laughs> now, now you can pause. <laughs>